You know, when I look back, it was a lot more teacher-centered. The teacher called all the shots. Whereas now, and students sat in rows, and they did as they were told, and it was, uh, the learning was more shallow. Just more recall, more knowledge-based uh, type learning. It wasn't necessarily about applying what you learned, it was just about, here's 10 things, memorize it, here's 100 things, memorize that. I think there were a lot more gender lines when I was in high school. There were classes that were specifically for the boys, like you didn't see girls in the ag classes or the ROTC classes. You know, I remember being a freshman and you picked. You know, your elective was either home ec or shop. And if you were a female, you picked home ec. If you were a male, you picked shop. I don't remember there being a big thrust toward going to college. A very small percentage of students went to college in my era than do now. The focus when I went to school was mainly on general education requirements. I didn't see a specialization, I didn't see a diversification in opportunities. For instance, we didn't have multiple industry certification. As I started my teaching career, um, chalkboard again was still all there was. When I first started teaching, we were um, limited, and I didn't realize it then, in, in access to what I could present to my students. So I would have to write all the notes on the chalkboard, and what I would do, I would actually get to school early and write the notes for the whole day. So they would be up there all day, so I wouldn't have to stop in class and do that. I remember when I first, my first year of teaching, I was so, I was sick a lot. and. Um, uh, allergies, the doctor would say, and he, he thought it possibly could be chalk dust. Uh, the first time that I ever saw a computer was probably 1985, 86. They put a computer in my math classroom. We were all scared to death of it. We didn't know what to do with it. The teacher wouldn't let us touch it because he was afraid we would break it. And the first computers that I had access to was a fancy typewriter. I remember thinking it was neat because it was something different. I guess almost a privilege to be able to use the computer at that time. It's amazing. I mean, I've been teaching for 18 years, and when I first started teaching, it was, you know, everything, even the multiple choice was all handwritten on a piece of paper, and every single answer had to be hand scored. Uh, didn't really get a lot of data back from that. It took days. You know, it, I mean, it would take a couple, at least two to three days to get every test back and then you have to kind of stop. You're already kind of in the middle of the next unit. You have to start back over. Could you, did you have any concept of where we would be today? I don't think I did. I think there was people out there who did, but I don't think I did. 